जय गुरुदेव गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे यू स्टार्ट थर्मोडिनामिक्स तो थर्मोडिनामिक्स इज समथिंग विच डील्स विद द एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन ए रिएक्शन व्हाट इज द एक्सोथर्मिक एनोथर्मिक रिएक्शन वी हैव रेड इन क्लास 10 सो दिस थिंग्स अंडर एक्चुअली थर्मोडिनामिक्स सिस्टम इन दिस थर्मोडिनामिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिफाइन द सिस्टम द पार्ट ऑफ द यूनिवर्स वेयर ऑब्जर्वेशंस आर मेड तो ह्यूमन बॉडी और ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर आल्सो सिस्टम नाउ इफ यू हैव फीवर देन द टैबलेट्स आर गिवन to observe the changes in your body the part of the universe where the observation are made are your system surrounding the part of the universe other than system is called surrounding so if you exclude system from the universe you will get the uh, surrounding so things becomes like that system plus surrounding gives you the universe so system plus surrounding gives the universe then another term is called boundary the real or imaginary surface that separates system from surrounding is called boundary so if you have in a beaker if you have water so this is your system and walls of that beaker is your boundary this is system walls of that beaker is boundary and this part outer part is called surrounding now system is again we have open system closed system and isolated system open system for example a cup of tea from that we are getting energy and you taking the sugar and all these things are there present in the tea from that we have to get the energy or we are getting the heat energy and also the matter both the things are available in a open system means if you are given a cup of tea to drink then you are getting both en energy and matter energy is heat energy matter is the content of this tea now closed system where you can get energy but you are not going to get the matter for example if you have given a cup of tea and this top of it if you uh, lid of that one is locked then in that case you you have the energy if you have just touched the walls of that cup you are getting energy but you don't don't have the matter now isolated system where we are not going to get energy as well as matter both the things are missing from the isolated system if you have a given the tea in a thermos flux so in that case you are not going to get energy as well as matter then we have to read some processes so out of that first process is adiabatic process adiabatic process are those process where no exchange of heat between the system and surrounding if this is system and this is surrounding so this is your non conducting works non conducting to heat non conducting walls so in that case we are getting the adiabatic process means in a system and surrounding there is a no exchange of heat energy between the system and surrounding this is what is called adiabatic process now in therm isothermal process the process in which the temperature remains constant so if we are doing so any reaction at constant temperature for example if you are doing something some reaction in the 
laboratory and the temperature remains constant in this case is called isothermal process now one point to be noticed if a reaction is exothermic or endothermic exothermic then you require to give heat to the surrounding to maintain the temperature in case of endothermic you have to take the heat from the surrounding to maintain the temperature but temperature must be fixed if you are, if you are doing anything at 20 30 degrees centigrade throughout the system temperature remains 35 degrees centigrade so that your t1 is 35 t2 is 35 so del t is 35 minus 35 become zero then we have isobaric process where the pressure remains constant if the pressure remains constant for example in the laboratory we are working under one atmospheric pressure so pressure remains constant this process is called your isobaric process one other one is isochoric process if the volume remains constant in a reaction then this process is called isochoric process then we have cyclic process so if a process starts from this point and ends to this point again so this is called cyclic process means you are starting from your home you are going to school you are going to tuition you are going to big bazaar then nahas then another v2 then again you come back to your home so this type of process is called your cyclic process then we have to start with the reversible process and irreversible process there are two types of process one is your reversible process another one is irreversible process so if you have a picture like that where the p is the in p internal pressure pressure internal pressure external now if you these things are in equilibrium means external pressure is equal to the internal pressure now if you have a pile of sand which gives the pressure now you remove one one sand from that one 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 sand particle then it seems that the work is do if the external if you on the mobile of one sand only the external pressure is become less than the internal pressure although it is very very small then piston will going to be upward but it seems to be there is nothing is happening in that reaction but after removing one 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 cent then we'll see that the piston approaches that means a process which carried out in infinite simply slowly or small steps is called reversible process and reversible process is that from all the sands are removed at a time then piston will jump to its final destination so in that case this is called your irreversible process next we have state function state function actually generally pressure volume temperature these are your state function now the state function is something where which depends on initial and final state now it is like that if you have got 99 percent in your exam and earlier exam you are getting the th uh, 35 percent now that 99 percent matters most because if you have in class 12 if you are getting 99 percent and class 11 you are getting 35 percent now nobody will going to ask that one all, the, all of that ask that 99 percent so a thermodynamical process whose initial and final state matters is called state function but path function is that when the root is required to mention now if you have a five stories building like that so somebody can go there by stairs somebody go there by lift so in that case at this point the potential energy of the person remains same because potential energy depends on height but the work done when he comes by stair is different from the work done by lift the work is your path function and potential energy become your state function 
so these things you remember then we have required to read two more property one is your extensive property another one is intensive property intensive property is something which is independent of size and matter now if you have taken a block like that whose volume is b temperature is t now on dividing same block into two parts the temperature of that part remains t temperature of this part remains t but volume of this part become v by 2 volume of this will become v by 2 so temperature which does not depend on the size and matter is your intensive property intensive i n independent and which depends on size and matter this is your extensive property so these things you try to remember thank you